Hi, this is Becca from masterprocrastinator.com. Welcome to Take 5. In just five short minutes, I'll show you how to build and design a project in Design Space. Today, I'm going to show you how to take several images and splice and arrange them into your own custom design. Okay, so to start, we're going to go to Insert Image and search for Baseball and um, select the design that we like best and insert that into the design canvas. The first thing I do is size the image up so that I can see as much detail as I want while I'm working with the designs and then ungroup it so that you're uh, only working with the part that you want and for me it's going to be this gray layer with the uh, stitching there on the top and bottom. There are also a couple of uh, streaks in the design that I want to make sure are uh, removed as we go forward so I'm going to use a shape to cover that spot up and select both images and use weld and the weld tool basically just fills in whatever area you overlapped so now you'll see that that baseball part of the background is nice and solid now I want to detach those stitches so I use a circle that's just a little bit smaller than the baseball so that I can separate the stitches from the circle shape and so you select both pieces and go over to your slice tool and that will separate all of those different lines in the image. So I'm going to delete now the layers that I don't want. Um, so you can pull away that dark gray and get rid of that and um, that edge outer circle that uh, we cut away. But because those two, the top and bottom stitches were in the same circle, we need to separate those as well. So it's a second step. You can insert the shape and select the two images and use slice again. And that'll separate the top and bottom into separate pieces. I only want to use that bottom one just because I prefer that particular shape. So now I have isolated just that part of the stitching. So now uh, I'm going to put the design together so that I can kind of see how it comes out in the end. So I rotate the stitches and I insert a shape for my heart. I want to squeeze that down a little bit to make the heart a little fatter. So you just click on the lock icon so that you can manipulate the height and the width separately. Um, and then I'm also going to change the color of that stitching so that it uh, stands out a little bit more on top of the heart as I'm visualizing how this design will work. Um, so once I kind of get the stitching to be the size and the shape that I want, I'm going to uh, copy and paste it so that I can work with it on the other side of the heart as well. And I'm going to go ahead and rotate that so that it looks like a baseball where the stitching would be going all around um, the circle or, or the ball as it were. <laughs> um, and now that I have those the way I want them, um, the next step is to select the stitching and the heart and slice those two pieces. Remember, you can only slice two images at a time. So we're going to have to do this in two steps again. Um, so I, that first side is done. Now I'm going to select the heart and that uh, right side stitching and do slice again. And now you can pull that heart design down and see how it turned out. You can see now that there's one heart shape with the two sides of stitching and you can get rid of what you don't need. Um, and I'm going to clean up the canvas here so it's a little easier to uh, visualize the design and drag my text over. Um, I'll let you know what font that uses in the show notes. Uh, and here it's from here out, it's easy. You just make sure that the uh, text and the heart shape or the size uh, that you want and, and the uh, arrangement that you want. And uh, now all it's left to do is cut out the vinyl and iron it onto your shirt.